going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the what seems to be the new favorite uh, video that a lot of people uh, enjoyed that I want to continue doing and that is the Town Hall 9 attack guide. Uh, if you guys missed the first one, the very first episode or series or whatever you want to call it, I will have a link to that at the end of this video so make sure you guys hit that thumbnail at the very end in case you guys missed it. What we're gonna be talking about, like you guys already saw in the thumbnail to this video, is funneling. It's a very basic, simple fundamental of the game that some people still not necessarily struggle with, but might not plan out in detail because as we know, or we should know, as far as funneling, that is the, that's basically war, the war 101, something everybody needs to do, whether you're funneling heroes, whether you're funneling in uh, a kill squad, and most importantly at Town Hall 9, being a Town Hall 9 attack guide, is funneling bowlers in, So I, and not to mention something even like dragons. The last thing you want to do is have all your dragons wrapping around the base. So I do have a few examples of each one to show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with one of the best funnels uh, that you, you really can have in this game. Uh, I'm going to pause a few times since I'm, I'm going to show the attacks through, but we're going to be really focusing and highlighting on the funnel. So looking at this base, we have Ratio is going to be hitting this base using a stoned hobo. Uh, that should be something that is in everybody's Town Hall 9 arsenal. And the key to a successful stoned hobo is the funnel, getting your heroes inside the base and getting those bowlers inside the base. So we're going to go ahead and press play and just watch exactly how he does this. So notice real quick, he drops down his golem and brings down not only wizards behind the golem, but also on the side, making sure to take out all that trash. You do not want your bowl. The last thing you want is your bowlers and or your heroes walking around the base. Notice he's doing the exact same thing over at three o'clock on the upper right hand side. And notice how he is just trimming not only the trash, but also these defenses. And you can clearly see the funnel already being set. Drops a couple more wizards, gets his jump down. Look at this funnel right here, guys. Oh, I paused it too soon. Right when that gold mine goes down, you already saw right there, it doesn't pause to show the little target symbol, but when he dropped those bowlers, check out this funnel, guys. There is nowhere for his troops to include his bowlers to go, but inside the base. He trimmed all the trash on the outside here, and trimmed all these defenses. Same thing on this side. The only thing left that they can target is this gold storage. And after that, this expo, builder hut, and so on. And we're going to watch complete destruction rain down on this base. Look at those bowlers go. Look at the golems. Look at his heroes. He even has a couple wizards uh, a part of this funnel as well. Goes in and picks up a very nice double giant bomb. Uh, this being a hog raid and look at those bowlers go to work drop down a jump a rage uh, And a heal and a second jump to reach to the back side of the base Look at all those bowlers right inside the core. That is exactly what you want uh, When you are doing something like a stoned hobo getting all those troops inside of the base and his kill squad has made it to the other side starting from one side of the base working through the entrance, through the core, and even on the backside, starring his hogs on the same side that his kill squad is on. Uh, reason being is all those defenses are targeting the kill squad rather than the hog. So he did use all of his spells on the kill squad, and he's just going to send a few troops per each one of these defenses. And, and like I said in the very first video, again, make sure you guys check that out, is all these things kind of go hand in hand. Funneling, base identification, base weaknesses, and he found it starting the hogs on that side. There was no place on this base on the back end where he sent his hogs where there could have been uh, something like a giant bomb or even a double giant bomb and ended up completely wrecking this base. Still has bowlers up, uh, even swagged his queen ability, just used the queen ability for cleanup and just an amazing funnel. Uh, make sure you guys watch that again. That is by far... Uh, the, the best funnel that you can really get. Trimming both sides like that, bringing everything in, and doing what it says, funneling all your troops 
uh, inside of the base. Now we're going to go ahead and watch another example uh, using bowlers. So we have Spartacus, uh, the only Town Hall 9, Max Town Hall 9 I've seen, who has not unlocked Hounds. Not on this account, but he does have another Town Hall 9 that he hasn't even unlocked Hounds on. This is the Groundmaster uh, Spartacus right here. This is a cleanup. Uh, that's why he did drop a couple wall breakers to pop those Teslas. Okay, so he's going to be entering up here at 12 o'clock, guys. Notice he has each golem and a few wizards behind. Uh, again, trimming trash. He does want to enter right up here at 12 o'clock. Went ahead and dropped down the bowlers and the king as well. So the bowlers can still walk at this point. But if you guys watch these wizards, as they're going to be taking out that archer tower right there so the bowlers cannot go to the left and if you look at the right hand side king goes in takes down the other one look at all the troops right inside the core guys also doing this one with the double jump using all of the spells on the kill squad similar to what we saw with ratio and here they're all inside the core and he did bring 11 hogs to this raid he even dropped this was a stone entry two goms up at 12 a little unconventional uh, he did drop uh, Gollum to go ahead and pick apart that Tesla farm with a few wizards over here at 3 o'clock. And you can see as the defenses are uh, being distracted by the kill squad, which again made to the other side of the base, he's just dropping down a few hogs, even dropping down a baby dragon down there at 6 o'clock. Uh, again, finding weakness to the base, setting a beautiful funnel, making sure not a single bowler uh, goes ahead and walks. We'll go ahead and times this. Still has a golem up, even a Valk going to take out uh, that Tesla farm right there. And still has the queen up as well. So very, very nicely done to Spartacus. And again, setting a beautiful funnel to set this raid off. Very, very nice three-star. He also six-packed this war. Uh, so shout out to him for that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my hits where I did not bring bowlers, but setting up a funnel uh, with a CB, with a, a CB Lalo. We're going to be entering down here, guys, at uh, 6 o'clock down here. And we're going to see what I want to do is funnel all these buildings on the right-hand side with a baby drag. There's no air targeting defenses right there. So I know I can do that very cheaply with something like a baby dragon. And right here, I drop down my golem. Notice I have the wizards on the left-hand side taking out the barracks, taking out the hut. When I first saw this base, I knew to make sure my queen wouldn't walk and my king, I knew that I had to take out that dark elixir drill. That's how I set up those wizards. So there they go. They're going to be shooting down that dark elixir drill. Go ahead and drop one test wall breaker. Drop down the other wall breakers. And as you can see it right there, guys, the funnel is completely set. There's nowhere for these heroes to go but inside the base when I drop down my king or my archer queen where I dropped her down. There's nowhere for them to go but inside of this compartment to take out um, all these defenses, that elixir storage. And with this attack... Uh, we're just dropping a jump, a uh, really, really uh, small kill squad. So whether you're funneling with three bull or three bowlers, uh, three golems, two golems, one golem, this is how you do it, guys. Making sure you get all that trash and making sure none of your troops walk. And you have to ask yourself when you guys are planning these attacks out, what has to be taken down in order for my troops to go into whatever compartment you're trying to enter? Um, often, what we do. I mean, in, in From Won't Lava, this is a, we do most of our planning on voice. Uh, for those of you that don't have uh, voice or you, know, you don't have uh, a voice chat in your Discord server, whatever you guys are using, something like Skitches or you know, whatever drawing app you're going to use. I believe Skitch is pretty much rip at this point, but a lot of people use different drawing apps. Go ahead and download one in whatever app store and draw it out. Write X's on the buildings to uh, the buildings you need to take out in order to set that funnel. Knowing how your troops are going to react and what you have to take down. Uh, the blueprints and the layouts are all right there on the base. You know or should know what your troops can and cannot do. And something like setting up a funnel. I mean, even setting up a good funnel doesn't necessarily mean you're going to three-star the base, but it's going to give you the best chances in doing so. You do not want your heroes to walk. 
You do not want your dragons to be flying around the base where none of the defenses are. Uh, you don't, especially uh, Town Hall 9, using something like bowlers. The last thing you want, nine times out of 10, those bowlers go walking, it ends up uh, in a fail, guys. So make sure you set those funnels properly. Okay, so we've seen the CB funnels, we've seen uh, shattered, stoned. Make sure you guys check out that hit that ratio did. Perfect, perfect funnel. Now we're going to go ahead and check out a funnel. This was a fresh hit, you guys, on number 30. Doing it with dragons. You know, I like to show different examples, uh, different base layouts. Wait till you guys see this treat right here. Doing a tri zap. That's right, three zaps and a max quake. You can almost tell right away that all of this uh, far left hand side, this nine o'clock corner of the base, is pretty much funneled, eliminated both those air defenses and two cannons. Look at this value, guys, that he is going to get from one baby dragon, gonna do all sorts of work. Notice that the heroes are now funneling uh, up at 12 o'clock, heading down. Again, even something like dragons, uh, you know, if you think back, you know, just a couple years ago, people were saying, you know, dragons are gonna do whatever they're gonna do. You know, you cannot predict where dragons are gonna go. That is absolutely wrong. Dragons have to be funneled just like any other troop, whether it's a ground troop, air troop, does not matter. Uh, same thing with P.E.K.K.A.s. We do still see an occasional raid where a P.E.K.K.A. is used. Oh, P.E.K.K.A.s, all they do is walk. No, your P.E.K.K.A. walked because you didn't funnel. You set the funnel, the troop is going to go in if you set it right. Look at this funnel, guys. That is Heroes created. Obviously, we already talked about what the baby dragons did over here. Look at this funnel. There's nowhere for these troops to go, guys, uh, but inside the base, exactly where he wants them. Especially something if you're trying to get a dragon raid off the ground, is saying that funnel, making sure all those troops, remember, <laughs> the majority of bases you're gonna see, well, if it's a good base, the defenses are inside the base. They're not going to be all on the outside. You want to keep those dragons clumped up. Look at this guy. Look at this funnel. Look at all those dragons right in the core of the base. They're not wandering around on the outside, getting picked off by air defenses, getting picked off by archer towers. Absolutely not. Set a beautiful funnel. And it all started uh, with that three zaps and that max quake he brought in the clan castle. Give it a try. Uh, we are seeing a lot of town hall nines with this similar type of AD layout where you have two ADs and two cannons on one side, two ADs and two cannons on the other, three max zaps at Town Hall 9, and a max earthquake is going to take out that entire compartment. If you don't believe me, go ahead and use it in FCs, and you will see, guys. Uh, completely smash this base. Again, this was a fresh hit, so he didn't know about the troll test up there. Had all kinds of loons up. They're going to take that out, no problem. So... I really hope you guys enjoyed this funneling, whether it's, again, whether you're funneling with one, with one golem, two golems, three golems, bowlers, if you're just doing a kill squad with heroes, whether you are funneling dragons, it does not matter, guys. Um, like I said, voice it out. Talk to your clan mates. Talk in in-game chat if that's all you have. Uh, you know, using voice, using sketches, especially sketches. You can really nail down what buildings you need to eliminate in order to do what? To funnel your troops inside the base, getting maximum value. And that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Town Hall 9 Attack Guide is alive and well. This was the second episode of this new series. And of course, I... As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the channel for more Town Hall 9 uh, tutorials. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 2,000, 2,000 of you guys have already subscribed to the channel. Huge shout out. Uh, hopefully we can keep this train moving. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.